You know, I think the most difficult thing for an alcoholic to face is the truth. Uh, and it's very difficult for an alcoholic to look in the mirror and actually realize uh, where they are currently uh, in life uh, and, and understand how they've affected themselves, their own life, and how they've affected everybody in their life. Uh, and it's an amazing thing, the gaslighting that will go on. And, you know, I'm, I'm privy to it all the time. I have to deal with people's toxicity uh, and their outright uh, dismissal or their deflection of what really the conversation that we're having uh, in making these videos. And the, the scenarios that I make are really sn snippets uh, of different scenarios that alcoholics and the family go through and the family themselves go through. So the gaslighting is just amazing. I mean, I get things like, uh, I mean, you just have this little screen here and all things people don't like. Uh, maybe the books I have here, the color of my shirt, uh, maybe my skin color, my hair, my glasses, uh, you know, my age or uh, my accent. I'm from New York originally, so I got a little bit of a New York accent, you know. Uh, it's amazing. And none of it has anything to do uh, with what we're actually talking about. So it's a, so I get snippets of what you know families go through every day, which is deflection from the actual subject matter of recovering from alcohol. And instead of talking about that, let's defend ourselves and deflect away from that. It's a pretty common trait for most alcoholics. And you have to understand, I'm really an advocate for families first and foremost, because I know what families go through and I know the narcissism and the self-centeredness and the insanity, toxicity, uh, gaslighting, and all the other craziness that uh, an alcoholic can put families through. And it's also a mental illness, and you have to understand that. So bringing that all together, it's amazing to me how much people and alcoholics will expose themselves in their comments like, well, I've drank 18 beers and I'm 67 years old, I don't have any health problems, and I'm a happy, well-adjusted person. And you're like, wow. Really? Okay, that's interesting. Let's break this down. 18 beers a day. Oh my God, let's do the math. What, what is that? So 70 and, you know, it's, it's like 150 beers a week. You drink 150 beers a week. You're drinking 600 beers a month uh, and you're a healthy, happy individual. Well, wow, that's amazing. Really? Okay, I'm glad. And quite frankly, I'm not trying to mock uh, an alcoholic. I'm the last person that's really wanted, wants to do that or trying to do that. What I'm trying to do is expose them for what they do, which is fill their heads with their own bullshit. And until an alcoholic is ready to face their own bullshit that goes on in their head, they're not going to grow and they're never going to have a real good opportunity and they're not going to be able to take, make the right choices to ever obtain sustainable sobriety. They're not going to be able to do it until they realize they're full of crap, okay? Uh, and the stuff that they tell themselves and their family and uh, everyone in their circle uh, is just, it, it really just exposes the disease that much further. Uh, and the more that they understand that, the better chance they have at getting real help. So until you've lived with an alcoholic for 25 years and had to hold their hand and then turn the machines off that were keeping them alive, You'll understand where I'm coming from. I don't have a whole lot of room for, for BS or humor when it comes to alcoholism because it's a life or death situation for many, many people. Uh, we lose over 200,000 people a year in the United States from alcohol and alcohol-related deaths. Again, if you're ready to make a change, if some of this resonates with you or, or your family member, uh, you know, please click on the link above, schedule a breakthrough call, I've helped thousands of alcoholics, and, but most importantly, I've helped their families. And again, please like, share, and comment. And again, uh, we have a Facebook group called Amanda, A Cautionary Tale of Alcoholism. It's become a very good support group. We talk about these issues, alcoholic issues, and a whole lot more. And again, thanks for listening.